Welcome to the quick technical overview of vFabric Application Director, a new solution which is part of the vFabric Application Management Suite. Application Director accelerates and simplifies the deployment and management of applications on hybrid cloud and specifically VMware-based clouds. This product offers three core values. Application portability. This capability allows you to model your application once and deploy it on any cloud, private or public. Improved operational efficiency. A consistent environment across different stages, dev, test, production, streamlines your application provisioning and release process. Simplified and standardized deployments. A ready-to-use, out-of-the-box content library facilitates application modeling and deployment. First, I will orient you to the key constructs and value proposition of the product by showing you the design time view. Next, I'll start by creating an application topology, which we call a blueprint, and walk you through the deployment flow. Finally, we'll view the deployment status. I am logged in as an application architect who wants to create an application and later deploy that application to the cloud. Click on the Manage Applications link. An application list page will appear. To create an application, click this icon. This will be a three-tier Java application. Enter the name of the application. Now, enter the version number and click OK. Here we introduce the concept of the application blueprint, commonly referred to as an application topology. This UI serves as your canvas to build the application blueprint. On the left side at the bottom, you see logical templates. These are operating system images. Some of these have middleware software or database services pre-installed and configured. Application Director ships some open source images out of the box. Of course, you can add your own images to its catalog. On the right bottom side, you see middleware services. These are reusable software components from the catalog. Application Director ships install and configuration best practices for middleware services. On the right top, we find application components. These are applications that sit on top of the middleware services. This framework is modular. You can deploy any application component on any middleware that in turn can be deployed on any OS image. Now let's create a blueprint for our three-tier Java application. We select three logical templates. Let's call them web tier, app tier, and db tier. Also for my database, I have selected a logical template that includes a MySQL database. Now I drop an Apache load balancer on the web tier. And a vFabric TC server application server on the app tier. I will also create a three node cluster at the app tier to serve the load balanced web tier. One important thing to note is that when I picked the TC server application server from the services catalog, it came with all the necessary properties and actions created by the middleware administrator. This greatly speeds up the application modeling process and doesn't require that I have any specific middleware expertise. Now on TC server, I drop my application war file. On MySQL, let's drop a DB schema for our application. We'll also create dependencies, since our application requires specific information. For example, we need a database host name and port information from the database tier. Similarly, we need application host information for the web tier. At deployment time, application configuration will start only when the database configurations are completed successfully. This completes the creation of our application blueprint, and so far we haven't mentioned anything about cloud properties. Now let's deploy our three-tier application. Here we introduce the concept of a deployment profile, which is a collection of cloud properties. This is where cloud properties bind with our application blueprint. You can create a new deployment profile or pick an already existing profile. Step one, choose your cloud environment. Step two, enter or override any application properties for a specific deployment. Here I change the database port to 3307. Step three, next is review execution plan. This provides install and configuration flows for each component of an application. Here you can review install scripts or properties like the database port.
While viewing the execution plan, I also have the option to insert an ad hoc script task. Application Director displays available entry points for my script task. The last step is reviewing all the deployment parameters and then clicking Deploy when you're ready. Application Director now takes you to the Deployment Summary page where you can view deployment information and view the execution plan and status and deployment time of each component. You can also view deployment logs. Let's summarize Application Director's core values. Application portability. As we've shown, you can model your application once and deploy it on any cloud, private or public. Improved operational efficiency. We also walk through how the ability to choose different deployment profiles for dev, test and production streamlines your application provisioning and release process. Simplified and standardized deployments. The standardized, ready-to-use middleware services, such as TC Server or MySQL, greatly facilitates application modeling and deployment. Thanks for watching.